All right. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Uh, so I know that we're very good looking, but please only tweet flattering photos of us. That's all right. Yeah. If there are any. If, yeah, if there are any. Of me. Yes. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm used to dying on stage on my own, not... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sorry about this. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk about how we built Gopherize Me in uh, five hours. And also, uh, this is the first time that we've met yeah, in, in person. Yeah. I didn't actually know that Matt was British, so that's strange. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't. You, you didn't either. That's when I found out too. Yeah, okay. Time. Do you want to do slides? I'll do this, yeah. yeah. Thanks, hon. Uh, <laughs> so this started in January, a uh, really, really, really long time ago. Um, I was making gophers manually. Oh, so uh, most of you might not know this. I should backtrack a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm terrible at, at Go, but I believe in contributions. So uh, one of the ways that I wanted to contribute in the beginning was... Uh, making gophers, because I don't suck at graphic design. And so I started contributing that way so that I could uh, get up to speed on my Go and not be embarrassed about that. And I think we're almost there. Um, so I was making gophers manually, and I um, started with Go Buffalo, or just Buffalo. It's not Go Buffalo, it's just Buffalo. Sorry, Mark. Um, so I started with that, and it's kind of spiraled from there. Um, and I also did the GopherCon websites. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Gopherize Me started because I built a couple of avatars. It started with Bill Kennedy and Brian Kettleson and Eric St. Martin, and then everyone on t and Mark Bates. Uh, where's, my, where's my avatar? Oh, we're on oh, this. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. We, yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, then I started getting a flood of tweets. Can you please make me an avatar? And I was like, no, I have a job and a life. <laughs> so Todd Rafferty tweeted that we should build a, um, an avatar generator. And I was like, yeah, that'll take me about a week. Um, sure, like, let's do that. And then I got a DM from Matt Ryer, and I was like, who's this guy? He's like, we can have this done in like a couple hours. I was like, done. That's your job. Let's do this. It wasn't a couple, though. It was five in the end. Yeah, it was five, yeah. Sloppy. You were a little ambitious. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, but five people liked that tweet. Five, yeah. So yeah. You can't, you can't ignore you can't that. You can't mess around. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> So uh, this is where Matt comes in, because uh, I didn't really do uh, much work past this. As a matter of fact, uh, I haven't even looked at any of the back end of Gopherize Me, because I have a life and a job, and I was too busy doing the work of uh, the art. So yeah. go for it. That's the cool it. thing, like teamwork, right? Yes, so I uh, got the domain name, and you can see when it expires, so don't try and get it before I do, because I'll yeah, definitely miss it. Yeah, please don't do that. It. So first of all, I was thinking, well, the tech stack, obviously, just Go. That's all I really do now. Um, and Google App Engine <clears throat> on Google Cloud Platform was the uh, obvious choice for me, because I don't want to have to worry about, is that thing still up? You know, I've got to go and look after the servers somehow and make sure things are still going. And App Engine, I, I can write the little program and deploy it, and Google App Engine does the rest. It looks after it, makes sure, makes sure that it's running, and uh, I, it's, I can kind of sleep easy, which is good. And then the front-end JavaScript with jQuery, and it's pretty hacky if you look at it. Um, it. I didn't invest loads of time in that, and there's kind of a theme of trying to just solve one thing, small, and not trying to do everything and make it perfect, but just make progress. Progress is like the important thing, and perfection's the enemy of progress, as they say. And this is the main reason uh, why Matt did not do the artwork. Yeah. Because um, I think that, is this a chicken? No, it's a gopher. Oh, OK. Oh, it's yeah, it's a gopher. Yeah. It's play to your strengths. <laughs> um, so technically, so how's it going to work? I think if anyone was tasked with this project, you'd think, uh, OK, are there going to be some kind of images on top of each other in a particular order with transparency, uh, you know, the alpha channel and PNGs to uh, build up that image? And, you know, we, since we're going to put it on Google Cloud Platform, we might as well use Google Cloud Storage to keep the images. And 
We, you know, we're thinking, okay, we, could, we, we might need a database because we need to group these images up, like you've got bodies and eyes, and you want to be able to pick one eyes, and you, know, you want to be able to choose an accessory or one shirt. So there's some kind of group needing, needed. And one option, of course, is to have a database or to have some kind of, you know, um, something in memory that's just, or, you know, constants or something to group up the stuff. But that would have meant a lot of, uh, it wouldn't have allowed you to be able to just uh, add artwork however you like. Right, and the theme was uh, as little maintenance as possible yes. as well? Yes, so be lazy. Yes. Be lazy. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Yeah. So, so we, the groups are just folders. Um, and I think, yeah, okay, yeah, the yeah. next slide. So this is, go on. So this is uh, how a gopher's made. You can see on the right side, it's the, the layers there. Are, it's just layered PNGs. Um, and Photoshop has this new, like, 3D modeling thing uh, that I discovered yesterday so that we can make this very cool-looking slide to impress you all. Um, but it's, it's, very, it's very simple. It's just layered PNGs. So we just layer them on top of each other for gopher me. Yes. And we do that by, we use folder names, basically, for the groups. And we rely on the fact that they're alphabetical, so we prefix it with a number. And this kind of becomes a bit of a, an API or a contract between us, um, which allowed us to, a bit like when we, they built the channel tunnel, they started digging from the French side, started digging from the English side, and they met in the middle. They agreed on that middle point. And it's that principle, I think, uh, of, of, of doing that. So, and they're just files inside a folder that makes up the, um, that makes up the, the experience. And Google, the, you, can, you can ask for these images just by changing the URL. You can ask for them in any size. So it's easy to get to create thumbnails just by saying, you, it's like literally an S parameter that you add to the URL to say size 70. And that's how we can get little ones and things. And uh, Ronaldo did this blog post, you might remember this, at Thanksgiving one time, where it was a similar idea of layering up things. So I knew that uh, in Go this was possible, which is cool. And I also knew there's probably some code I could go and have a look at and steal or, well, borrow. So, <laughs> but it's quite simple. You can see here um, we, we have the images. We iterate over them. There's an output variable, and that's using the image package to create a new image with the size of the first gopher, um, first image. Then we iterate through all the, the list of images and just draw on top uh, using draw.draw. Uh, .draw. And that's it. And then we encode it as a PNG. Sorry. Sorry, I got, I got, got a little bit uh, excited so, about the next slide for some reason. It's not even that important. Well. Uh, so as I said in the beginning, we uh, only met in person recently. We collaborated uh, via Twitter and Mostly Slack. Yeah. We, we could, uh, we we, could yeah, we could. this out. Yeah, we could. Should we yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah, go for it. OK, brilliant. Yeah. So uh, note, there is still white space above them. Uh, is, is that to save room for hats, etc.? Yep. They look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Some of the hair needs resizing. <laughs> I wish I could have that feature in real life. <laughs> I hope that that was entertaining for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? That was my favorite bit so far. I am. I How too. do you think it's going so far? Um, amazing. Who can yeah. say otherwise? <laughs> so it also has an API, because of course it's a Go backend, JavaScript front end, so it needs to have an API. And I always think it's worth putting a bit of love into uh, things. So do, do fewer things, but do them well. So it does have a real API that's like, it's running in App Engine, so I, I'm pretty confident, apart from it would cost me money, I, I'm confident that it, could, it can scale. It really can, which is kind of cool. And people have built cool things, which we'll show you, we'll show you yes. some of them, too. So these are the unique gophers created. So, so far, there have been 9,544 gophers as of, what, this morning? Yep. Pretty good. But that's not the impressive number, really. This is the impressive number. <laughs> So you guys have a lot of work to do. If you could get to creating gophers, that would be great, uh, because we have a, a lot of combinations. Yeah, we're nowhere near this number. No, What's we're the nowhere. number again? 9,000? Yeah, nine, pathetic. yeah. Pathetic. It was pathetic. 173 billion. There's more gophers than humans. Yeah. There's more potential gopher. This could be dangerous, guys. Yeah. Don't tell Elon Musk. <laughs> He's going to be furious at us. 
So we're going to talk about a little bit how gophers come, like the secret sauce a little bit. I'm not going to tell you all my secrets, but. Uh, <laughs> so it starts out like this. And it's about this big in, in real life. I don't know, for some reason. Yeah, that blew me away because they're, they're, so, they're so high res when you see them. They just feel big. And to find out that they start with a little sketch that's tiny is <laughs> insane to me. That's I, I, the that's... difference between, you know, a drawing and a vector normally, you know. So, uh, so what I do is I scan the drawing and then I use Image Trace and Illustrator and it gives me this rough vector, which then I can sort of tweak as I want. Um, I normally do the color afterwards, but uh, we did this for effect. So this is the rough drawing filled in, and then at the end, it looks like that. Um, it takes me about a week, because I'm not very efficient, probably, but... Uh, but you added the artwork in Go For Eyes Me. I did. Like, very quickly. Yeah, so I did that very quickly because I cheated. So I had done a lot of gophers previously, so I just took, I broke the gophers apart and um, added them separately. So you'll see the buffalo costume, and I did a Stay Puffed gopher, and so there's a Stay Puffed costume. And then I did um, a user group logo, and so there were some hats and hair from that. Um, I did do some custom like hair, like Brian's hair. <laughs> um, so there wasn't a lot of new things. I just reused a lot of things that I already had. Which is smart, and that's it's what we, the same principles apply in code. You know, I stole code and money, not money. Why did I say that? <laughs> Edit that a little out. bit. It's just a little, a little bit. Yeah, we, we paid revealed. for this a little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but the community really has embraced it. That's been the fun thing. Yeah, that's it? been. The craziest part, I did not think that this would be a thing at all. I was like, oh, this is a fun project that we should do. But it, if you look on Twitter, like, these are people's identities now. Like, they're their Twitter profiles, they're on GitHub, they're everywhere. Mm. Um, just a couple of examples of that. InfluxDB has all of their new classes uh, create an avatar, and they create a yearbook photo of gopher photos. Yes, it's, it's made its way to business cards. People are using the API in, in fun ways. Yep. Please use the API. Let us know what you can do. It's kind of cute. I like it. It pleases me. Um, also, uh, attached to GoFries Me, you can print out merchandise from Zazzle. Uh, so like stickers and cups and I don't know, they have all kinds of things. Yeah. And this, this was a good example. This is the, the Zazzle sticker that we got for Ernesto. This is Ernesto. This looks... Like, to say it, the, the generic artwork, that looks a bit, that looks a bit too much like an essay, in my <laughs> yes. opinion. I don't know if yeah, I didn't seen know it. that that was a gopher, actually. Yeah, until, yeah, yeah, like the Mark Bates thing. Yeah, like the Mark, yeah. 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 Don't join in. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nick, Nick Jackson's done this, <laughs> used it, uh, face detection stuff, and um, yeah, you know. It's, it's, ter it's, it's terrifying, but you know. I would cover those faces, too. Uh, cakes? Somebody's wife <laughs> made him a go fries me cake. Uh, this still is incredible to me. There's yeah. cakes. That's crazy. They've made it into the real world. Yeah, into, yeah there are physical... Cakes. But it looks delicious as well. It is, I would have a piece of the cake. Yeah. And then Paul Jolly did a talk on this. I don't know if you saw it yesterday. Uh, if you didn't, you should check out the video on YouTube when it comes out. And then this one's kind of cute. It's not working. Though. Yeah, it's working on the thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah. Looks around on that. And there's Slack bots. Yeah. Like it's it's sort of endless. This this is interesting. Look, a reason alone to try go. So yeah. So we're no not, one's tracking. Yeah, we're not saying that we are responsible for the growth. <laughs> but a bit convenient. Yeah. Isn't it? We can't say for sure either way, guys. Yeah, but you know it's likely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I made this. It was actually a jQuery plugin um, that is this game, and you just provide it a list of images. So it uses the API to go and grab the 100 latest 
uh, gophers that were actually created. These are all ones that people made. It's not using a shuffle or, a, or an algorithm or anything. And, um, and then it's, you know, it's just, you didn't even know I was going to do I, this. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that this was a thing until I woke up and my mentions were dead on Twitter. Um, it's very cute. Yes. That's the, the, and I think the principle being, um, you know, building, thing, building these little components that are reusable. Um, yes. Then, then you can do things that are unexpected, and you know it doesn't have to be a big team effort. You're, you can branch off and just sort of uh, yeah. play with it and stuff. We finished this talk um, very, very quickly. Um, we want to say thank you to Renee French because without her, we wouldn't have this really great mascot. Um, we wouldn't have Go Fries Me. So thank you, Renee. Go also, for yourself today. Yeah, because uh, we only have 9,000, and that's pathetic yeah. compared to the combinations that are possible. Yes. So please do, if you haven't done it. Well, let's have a uh, uh, round of applause if you've made a gopher with Gopher as me. <laughs> this is no way to do science. A round of applause if you haven't. Oh, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then please, we invite you to go and make a gopher and share it and show us what you come up with and see, see how, how like you you can get it. And also you can submit um, pull requests if you have an art request. Thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs> really.